Hey, I hope you've had a great day today. It's time for bed, so let's read a scripture short. And remember when I lost my mug and then found it again? It made me remember a certain Bible story that I want to share with you. And uh, so we're going to read about finding the lost. And then we'll check out our puzzle and see what our special story might be at the end of the week. This is a really neat book because it lets you color inside of it too. So if you ever got one of these, you can actually color it yourself. Okay, let's start. Then Jesus asked, if a woman has ten silver coins and loses one of them, what does she do? She lights a lamp, she sweeps out the whole house, and she searches, until it, searches everywhere until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls all of her friends and neighbors together and says, Be happy for me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way, Jesus said to the Pharisees and the scribes, The angels in heaven celebrate over one sinner who turns back to God. Jesus had lots of issues with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Their hearts weren't in the right place a lot of times. Jesus then told them this parable about a father and his two sons. A man had two sons. One day the younger son said to his father, Father, give me my share of your fortune now. This made the father very sad, but he gave the son his share of the family's fortune. Just a few days later, the younger son gathered up all of his belongings and left. He traveled to a faraway country where he wasted all of his money on foolish living. That would be like buying a bunch of silly stuff we don't need, huh? After the younger son had spent all of his money, a terrible famine stuck, struck the land. He had no money and no food or friends. He had to go to work in the fields feeding pigs. He was so hungry that he longed to eat the pig's food, but no one would even give him any of that. One day the son said to himself, I am dying of hunger, but even my father's servants have more than enough food to eat. I'll go back to my father and, and say to him, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I am not worthy to be called your son. Just let me be like one of your servants. Then the son got up and began the long journey back home to his father. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him coming, and his heart was filled with love and compassion. The father ran to him, threw his arms around his neck, and kissed him. Father, the son said, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I'm not even worthy to be called your son. But his father called to his servants and said, Quick, bring out the best robe and put it on my son. Bring a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Then kill the fatted calf and let's have a great feast to celebrate. My son was lost to me, but now he is found again. And so they began to celebrate. Now the older son had been out in the fields. When he came home, he heard all the music and dancing. What's going on, he asked. Your younger brother has come home, the servant said, and your father is having a great feast to celebrate because he has his own son back, safe and sound. But the older brother wasn't happy. He was actually angry, and he refused to go into the feast. His father came out and pleaded with him to come in. But the brother said, I have worked for you for years. I have done everything you've ever asked, but you never gave me an, even a young goat to have a small feast with my friends. But, the, when, but when this son who took your money and left comes home, you have a great feast for him. My son, the father said, everything I have is yours. But I had to celebrate that your brother that was lost to me but now is found. It would be easy to feel like that older brother, wouldn't it? Jesus didn't come to save only the good people or the people who had already known about God. He came to save all who turn from sin and trust in Him. Even when we're sinners, He died for you and me. Now He calls us to trust Him as Savior and obey Him as Lord. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save that which is lost. So if you don't know Jesus personally as your Lord and Savior and the Holy Spirit draws you to Him, don't delay. Ask Jesus to forgive you and accept Him as your Lord and Savior got questions about it, you can ask mom or dad or you can reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Now, we'll look at our puzzle and then we'll go to the Lord in prayer. So, Duffy's put in two more pieces for our special story this week and it looks like we only have six pieces left that are in the wrong spot. So, let you look at that for just a second and we'll go to the Lord in prayer in three, two, one. Dear Lord, Thank you for Jesus. 
Thank you, God, that he loves us, that he searches for us, that those of us that are lost, he is searching for us, God. Lord, we just pray that we would accept your son's gift of eternal life for his death on the cross. God, forgive me where I fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night, kiddos.